Hello, my name is Sharif and I will demonstrate how to model physical architectures and then use Simscape to define and simulate physical behaviors. Let's begin with a logical architecture model which will describe the behavior of a mobile robot system that can follow a trajectory while avoiding obstacles in its path. In this design, the robot body communicates with the motor controller to receive trajectory information while sending out LiDAR and camera data to a sensor processing component for obstacle avoidance. The environment component communicates external information to the robot body such as obstacle position and the location of the robot. The robot body and environment components have physical ports to describe the hardware needed for communicating relative positions between the robot and the obstacle. To begin defining a reusable behavior of the robot body, right-click and select Create Simulate Behavior. A dialog will appear where the user can specify the type of component to create, the file name, the optional template, and a new dictionary name for saving interface artifacts for that behavior. In this instance, the robot body has physical ports and can only be saved as a subsystem reference. Once the user selects OK, the subsystem reference is created and the robot body component is linked to it. The newly created behavior is reusable and can be shared between users. Additionally, the component can be edited from the top down such as adding or removing ports and stereotypes. The user can then begin to implement their robot body behavior to manage the robot position, rotation, and other pertinent sensory data to pass back to the sensory processing component. Similarly, a user can link a component to an existing subsystem reference behavior to reuse an existing behavior. After defining all necessary behaviors, you can run the simulation to watch the mobile robot avoid an obstacle. Physical behaviors work seamlessly with all the other architecture modeling features, including stereotypes, trade-off analysis, custom views, requirements, and more. In summary, we have shown how multi-physical systems can be architected and implemented using System Composer and Simscape. 